Yuri's going to utilize an arm drag to create a pulling motion, which is going to shift Yuri's center of gravity forward, in which Gary's going to use his right leg to trip Yuri by blocking Yuri's ability to extend his base by posting his left leg. Yuri ends up dropping down to his knee, and now his shoulder level has dropped below Gary, so Gary's immediately going to start attacking the back, and Yuri is going to immediately roll over his shoulder so that Gary is unable to establish back control. As Gary threatens to pass here, he's going to lock around Yuri's knee so that he can lock out the leg, similar to something like a knee bar from the other side. Not to try and submit, but to keep that leg in his control so he's able to bring his left knee behind the calf and knee of Yuri so that he can start immediately setting up a heel hook attempt. He kicks his right leg over top of the leg of Yuri so that he can start threading it through into the 411 position. Yuri's immediately framing and turning to hide his heel. Here we can see Yuri has managed to frame with his left arm out at Gary's foot and has extracted his knee line. His knee is be right below Gary's calf. Gary is unable to stop that knee from freely rotating so the heel hook is no longer a viable option. Yuri immediately chases, going straight for the body lock as Gary starts to stand. Going to reset into this position and Gary is going to perform a front roll. So immediately front rolls. Now we can see how Gary's back is completely exposed once again and his hips are starting to come out through the hole of Yuri's grips. Here he's created that hip mobility. Yuri dumps down trying to keep control in the grip. Gary is going to form a frame with his right arm into Yuri's head. Start building up. Up onto his left elbow here. Continuing this frame. Hipping away, switching to the other side now, framing with his left arm and creating base with his right arm so that he's able to perform the technical stand-up to get back to a standing position. So now Gary's going to playfully run around here and he's going to shoot under and spin into a single leg. But his knees are going to come too close together so he doesn't have proper base. And when he ends up falling and collapsing to his hip from this as Yuri pressures into him, Gary's not going to have a very effective guard. Now, Yuri is going to reach down around the hip with his right arm. And because Gary's knees are still quite close together, it's very easy for Yuri to continue a pressure pass similar to as he's already done in the match so far. Here, Gary is just looking to frame and keep Yuri from advancing. So now we skip ahead, we're going to be looking at a mount escape. Gary is framing the hips with his hands and he's generating base by bridging off the mat. And we see Gary use this a lot. He flipper kicks his legs to create momentum and movement so that he's able to start getting frames as in his knees in between the hips of Yuri. Now from here, Yuri is not afraid so he keeps pressuring in which is causing problems for Gary within this match. And he works to get his right arm underneath so that now both of his arms are inside the hips and he's able to push them off to the side. So instead of trying to run from there, which usually sets up Gary's 411 attacks, Yuri chooses to stay in. We see the exact same thing here. Rather than trying to run away, Yuri dives down and immediately starts pressuring. Swims his arm underneath so he can control both and we see that he ends up just right into north-south position rather than potentially running and getting into a bad position. As he goes for this armbar, Gary's patented armbar escape, he's externally rotating his arm so he can create that hitchhiker escape. We can see how his palm is pointing down, so he's able to spin out. Now he's just got to be cautious about this omoplata and the armbar. So he brings his right leg over to so that he's able to block the hips and stop Yuri from having any tight braking mechanics. And he's reaching with his left arm up to the end of the lever, framing the foot so he can start extracting the elbow. So in the same way we look at leg locks and he's got to clear that knee line, we know this about the arm bar. Here, Gary immediately starts setting up a leg attack. So one, he's bringing the left leg over to start the reap. Two, he's controlling the end of the lever. And three, he's already got a bite on the leg, trying to access it as a lever to attack. He starts trying to switch to a toe hold, but we can see how free and clear Yuri's knee line is. So Yuri is able to keep on circling out here, as well as framing with his right arm against the leg, so that he can, once again, make sure that Gary's not able to follow up within 
moving through a hierarchy of positions or extracting easily. Just keeping that knee line clear. He knows he's safe. Extracts once Gary chooses to move. Now here, Yuri's trying to attack with a toehold, but he doesn't have a strong control position. But Gary's going to do a similar thing here. Now, the good thing about having this lever control before having anything else is that what it does is it has rotational control of a lever. And so what he's doing is being able to apply pressure that forces Yuri to start moving his hip that direction. No chance of finishing the toehold, but it creates a predictable response that Gary is able to anticipate. And during that roll, he threads his left leg through and underneath his right calf so he can create a closed circuit to establish the 411 position. Unfortunately, the match is over and Yuri will go on to win in ride time during the overtime rounds. If you wish to see those rounds broken down, then just let me know in the comments down below.